Let's talk Lithuania. Oh, Lithuania. God. I know, right? Lithuania. My long... autism can't handle this. This is not what we discussed, man. We had I know, a different I, order. I switched the order <laughs> up a little because, you know, I need to keep you on your toes. Um, <laughs> but it was a long show. Let me count again. One heat, two heat, three heats, four heat, five heat, four heats, two semifinals, and now a grand final. I mean, it wasn't as bad as in previous years, um, but we have a lineup of well, it was eight songs. Is it eight songs still? Yeah, it's eight songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah because one uh, withdrew, right? Uh, Maria. Yeah, Grant but they replaced it with another one. That's what it was. Yes, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. So um, that is what happened. We have eight songs in the running. What do you think, Roy, about the Lithuanian national final? Do we have like a clear outstanding song? Who yes. Um, well, from the get-go, both songs from Monica and Maria were just really good and... For Lithuanian standards, you know, they sounded really polished and really modern. Usually in Lithuania, I have the feeling that songs are quite dated and they don't really feel as current as you'd like to, them to be. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think the runaway favorite is probably going to be Monica Maria with Lights On. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just a really good song. It's well polished. It's not necessarily doing something incredibly unique or incredibly different. So I'm not really sure how well it will do at Eurovision itself. But I do think it has the biggest shot at winning in Lithuania. In Lithuania. And is this your favorite as well? Um, uh, mm, kind of, but I also kind of have a guilty pleasure for Mazule. I absolutely love it for some reason. And it's totally joking and it's totally bonkers. Uh, but I just love that song so much. Um. Yeah. I have to look them up as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, them. that was, yeah. So I hear you. I I, mm -hmm. I, I actually was like, oh, I'm going to love this as a guilty pleasure, right? I was like, this guy, but it didn't quite click with me in the end. They could have done more with it. The staging yeah. was so dull. At your vision, I could fix it. But um, I was waiting, like, okay, this is going to be awesome. And then it's just the final spark for me was missing. I didn't know, again, the, um, that, you know, the favorites and all that stuff. I liked Monica's Criminal. And I was like, oh, that's right. good. And then, wait, that one she withdrew? And then I listened to mm -hmm. that one. I'm not quite as connecting with Lights On as some of the others, right? Light On to me is good, a solid, we've heard it all before ballad. And that yeah. is my concern. And we have so many slow songs in the running as well. So I am a little worried about that if this were to win. Personally, yeah. I, that was such a crazy national like the, the songs is like what is this i remember him yeah, and, and Tommy not over. never part those two guys with his real what, what is this <laughs> what are you doing yeah and it's not even over because um apparently some people claim that run with the lions was already released before first of september no. And no. so stop it talking. could be. Stop talking. That's okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. No, no, continue talking. No, no. are you serious? <laughs> Uh, some people are saying that, but nothing has been confirmed yet, and they're just rumors, I guess. Mm -hmm. So if that would win, then it's still not like clear cut if it's really gonna win. But yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it the most. To me, um, I know the plagiarism thing and uh, uh, the, the early release stuff happens quite a bit, and the EU has uh, EU, <laughs> the EBU has uh, been a little bit more forgiving because the rule change they had no no major availability prior to the mm. you know if it's just like sporadically released like at a concert a video something like that they will look past it mm. so i don't know how um big this you know early release situation is i hope not it was my <laughs> personal favorite um i thought okay. it's just the most catchy and the most memorable melody to me and mm -hmm. um i think that's what we need now, i feel bad and i'm going to say to all anyone in lithuania who is like probably my mine opinion more than any other year right now it's probably very very biased because i'm a little tired of ballots right now and which is funny because i'm the opposite i was like send me some ballots but i feel like we're getting so many slow songs right now i need a little bit more of them yay yeah. moment so maybe that's just really what it's happening with me right now that's why i'm gravitating towards the lion song mm -hmm. um any other song that stood out to you um n not really to be honest um but if you say that you want something funky, then maybe Mashula should win. <laughs> it should, no. yes. But, I, I but it's kind of interesting that you say that you like lights on less because it is slower. But I think 
criminal to me felt more slow to me than no, that's fair. light on. That is fair. I, to me, they were mm. kind of like the same. Yeah, but I like criminal better yeah. than light on. Yeah, but, okay, um, okay. I would have had the same opinion about criminal. I just melodically I liked it better. I'm not saying it's because mm. it's faster. I I was more in general terms. That's why I'm okay. referring to okay. Lions. I uh. I, it was so good to see Jurgis again and Erica Jennings singing the song Sing, which was such an mm. odd song, which I still had a yeah. soft spot for, though. I'm like, I kind of <laughs> enjoy it for what it is. I understand it's not for Eurovision, but I loved Jurgis' band in Coulter in 2010 so much. So I just want him back for that reason alone. And um, so I wouldn't, I, I didn't dislike that one either. So I have a soft spot for that one as well. I just want to give a shout out to Sing. I understand it's odd. And um, odd doesn't always work, but Lithuania goes often with odd. So that's true. <laughs> well, then you could also send something like Alan Chico with your cure. Yes, that is really odd. It would be odd, and that's the thing. Like with Lithuania, they often like it often has like the, they release the song, and you're just kind of like, whatever mm. Lithuanian song, and then they do pretty well at Eurovision. People tend to like it. Yeah. And um, it could happen again. Some of them may be growers. So any questions about Lithuania, make sure you post them right now at ESC United in the chat. Um, so just to finalize this, uh, Roy, mm -hmm. your uh, favorite is um, Masulip, you said, right? Well, Technically? it's the one I like the most, but Light On is my favorite. Well, which one is it? Now, if it's your, you like the most, that's your favorite then, right? Whatever you well, like the most, isn't that your favorite? Uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> my favorite is Run With Lions, right? And then okay, followed yeah. by Sing, probably. Um, mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that this is what I think is going to happen. I don't know. I I think Monica yeah, okay. Ma will win with Light On. That just is my feeling here. Mm -hmm. Is that Okay, yeah, that Ma Mazzule is probably my favorite. And I also think that Monica will win. Yes. I think so too, which is another ballad. But hey, we still have over like 20 something songs to go. So there will be some yeah. more bops. I saw some people saying they agree with me that they need more bops. And again, I want to be clear I'm always the one that defends ballads, right? Because I love me some mm -hmm. really powerful, emotional songs that I can connect with. But there comes a time where I just want to dance. So, um,. So people are asking about um, Darude and Sebastian's song UMK this year. It's going to be up next. We're going to talk about this. That's why I'm trying oh, to God. do all of this. But uh, let's hold on on that one. We'll answer that. So, um, Another change in order. Yeah. So we're going to get Lithuania tomorrow. Uh, we'll go through this. Wait, Erica Jennings, duet partner, is from Inkolto. Yes, they're married, actually, I think, right? They're married. Someone's asking. What? So um, they are. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and she actually represented Lithuania in 2001. 